Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Britt, and welcome or welcome back if you've never been here before. Um, I do motherhood, lifestyle, reviews. I've started doing like a decluttering thing. I want to share with y'all three review, three of my personal reviews on natural deodorants. I've only tried three of them, so I know there's so many out there. Um, and I'm also going to show you what I started with that was not natural. Okay, all through high school, I sweat really bad, really bad. Like you can see it in my shirts, and that's just really embarrassing, especially in high school. But um, so I was always embarrassed, and I didn't know what to use. Um, so what I used to use is this Secret Clinical Strength, which is probably the worst. Um, but it it helped the sweating. So I liked it, <laughs> but it's not a more natural. So every product that I run out of in the house, I'm trying to move more natural with it um so i'm not doing it all at once it's expensive but every time i run out of something i'll just grab a more natural one just every product anyways so um the first first natural deodorant i tried was native i don't have their deodorant bottle because i've already used it and threw it away before i realized i was gonna do this video so native i think native is like 12 dollars, which is insane but i liked it okay it Every, I've tried three natural deodorants and all three of them have broke me out a little bit. Um, native and then my the one I love what is minimal. I don't break, I just break out just a little, which I've always broke out. So that's nothing new. I'm used to it. Um, native, love it. $12, which is $12 is a lot for a deodorant. So um, that's the only con to native. I loved it though. I didn't, I didn't uh, sweat, I didn't smell, nothing. So, Native is great in my book. Um, the second one that I tried, because I bought Native, I'm like, I'm going to try this. Uh, you know, I've heard really great reviews about it. $12 is a little steep, but let's try it. Tried it, liked it. Then I'm like, I ran out of it. And I'm like, oh, $12, that, that's a lot of money for deodorant. So, so I went to Walmart, I looked at their natural deodorant section, and I found the Smith's Lavender and Sage. Um, I've heard good things about this. It broke me out like crazy. Um, I had welts under my arms. But, like I always say, just because it makes me break out does not, make, does not mean it's going to break you out. So, um, it did not make me sweat. <laughs> I don't know if I was so broke out. Um, it didn't make me sweat. So, I, I don't remember how much this is. I don't know, three or four bucks maybe? Um, my, I think my mom uses this and she likes it. Just like um, I had bought the OXG shampoo and conditioner. Everybody raves about it. It broke me out head to, head to toe. I had a rash all over my arms, my neck. So, but I let my mom have it. I gave it to my mom and she loves the shampoo and conditioner. So. Just because it breaks me out does not mean it's going to break you out. Just, just want to say that. Um, so, Smith's, I would give it a try. I hear a lot of good reviews about it. So, I don't know. Just for me personally, it did not work for me. Um, I don't know why I still have it. But, so I have that. The third one, which is my favorite, is, is the Tom's. Um, this one and the native are like hand in hand with, in my book, but this one's like four bucks. It's way cheaper, um, than the native. This is what I'm using now. Currently, I still break out a little bit. So the next time I buy deodorant, I'm going to get a different brand. I'm going to keep trying different ones until I find one that doesn't break me out. There's one out there. I have hope. I have, I have big hope, but, um, <laughs> So, so um, I like Tom's. This is what I'm currently using. Um, I don't know. I like it. This and Native is like the top of my book, top of my list, which I've only tried. I've only tried three. Um, the Schmitz is at the very bottom because it breaks me out. Um, but the Tom's I'm liking, half price in the Native, and it works about the same. I actually think that I break out less with this one. And I don't know if it's because my body's getting used to more natural deodorants. Um... I don't, I don't know. My body's weird. Bodies are strange. So, I am going to stick with Tom's. 
and I'm going to try another one next. But that's just my review, my opinion. I, Tom's is number one. Every time people said to swap to natural deodorant, I'm like, I can't do that. I sweat really bad. And I don't want to look like a man with sweat all over my arms. No, I'm not doing that. So, um, I'm like, I'll just stick with my clinical strength. And I know that's horrible, the aluminum and stuff. But I just stuck with it for years. And finally, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. And on my two days off, I'm going to use the natural. Just see how it goes. And if I don't like it, just whenever I go back to work, use my regular. Um, I didn't. I tried it those two days. Loved it. Um, I will say that there is like a transition. I never smelt bad. Some people say that you will smell bad if you use natural. I never did. I never smelt bad. I smelt good. <laughs> I've always smelled fine. I don't know. Um, I did sweat a little bit the first maybe a week or two, just a little, not much. And like I said, I sweat a lot. So, um, but I do not work in a heated, I mean, I do not work in a hot facility. My work is air conditioned, but I, I still, I feel like I get, I sweat just as much like if I'm really cold or as if I'm really hot. Does anyone else do that? Or is I'm just weird? I don't know. So, um, so, when it's really cold or really hot, I sweat a lot. But, so I did sweat a little bit um, the first week or two, but it wasn't, wasn't bad. So, anyways, long ramble. I don't know why I did that. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>